Good evening. Welcome to the Gallery Council Board of Education meeting on this 14th of December 2016. May I roll call, please? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Deese? Here. Mrs. Edison? Mr. Gregg? Here. Mr. Hand? Here. Mr. Anika? Here. Mr. North? Here. Mrs. Cordero? Here. And Mr. Hubbard? Here. At this time, I'd ask everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mr. John North. like the ACUA, 
Uh, we had Roe Goldberg work with us, Barbara Fiedler, and a number of other people. It was a tremendous program, and every, everyone really put their best foot forward on it. And I think it was a wonderful learning opportunity for all the students, and it certainly was a wonderful recognition for all of us at Reed's Road. But just one correction, I just want to let you know that in being the sustainability champion, we earned the most points ever by any school, <laughs> elementary, middle, or high school. And there were some high schools that seemed to be vying for it that had been uh, sustainability champions before. But we're delighted to receive this, and we'd like to thank the Board of Education for honoring us this evening. Thank you.
support in our broken heart. Um, I can't say enough great things about both of these schools. And I just want to give a special shout out to uh, Jen and Dave, who I have the pleasure of working with for five years. Um, and they have been very supportive year after year. And they do not get recognized every single year like they did today. But they've always worked hard. They've always been dedicated. And I've always appreciated working with them. So thank you. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible either. So I appreciate all of your support, and you know the money raised does save lives. So we've made a huge impact, and um, we appreciate it. Thank you. Superintendent. Resolution number three to approve the withdrawal 
for maintenance reserve account and transfer to the appropriate maintenance account for all the elementary schools and the Gallon Township Middle School for door lock devices with the account number listed below. The Gallon Township Board of Education has determined that $39,000 is available for such transfer. Resolution number four, to approve the following students for the 16-17 school year for tuition receivable in compliance with the following. The student ID, the home district, and the total tuition amounts are all listed below. Resolution number five, to approve Children's Hospital Philadelphia School Program to provide home instruction beginning October 26, 2016 through June 2017 at a cost of $53.84 per hour on an as needed basis. The account number is listed below. Resolution number six, to approve a personal aid for a Yale student number listed below beginning November 18, 2016 through June 2017 at a cost of $25,080 for the account number listed. Resolution number seven is to approve Ed Zimmerman and Lynn Ellenworth as supplemental instructors at a cost of $35 per hour for Jersey Shore Baptist students, one hour per week from September 2016 through June 2017. The account is listed below and is of Chapter 193 on Public Instructional Service. Resolution number eight is to approve the following transportation contract with Greater Harbor Regional School District for the 16-17 school year. The type of route, the school, the route number, the days, and the annual costs are listed below. Thank you. Can I have a motion to provide this once away inclusive under finance and school operations, please? Sorry. Thank you. Mr. Norris, you have finance meeting? Yes, we did. Thank you. Yeah, well, that was good. Well, we reviewed the uh, bill of the two avenues. Item number one on the personnel, please. Thank you. Board discussion? 
Any public comment? Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Hughes? Yes. Mr. Anakin? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mr. Gates? Yes. Mr. Craig? Yes. Mr. Norman? Yes. Vice President Cordero? Yes. And President Humphrey? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Item two is a resolution to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire from Donna Fisher, classroom assistant at Galloway Township Middle School, effective June 30, 2017. Ms. Fisher has worked in the Galloway Township Public School District for 17 years, and her dedication and commitment to students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I have a motion to provide number 200 personnel, please? So moved. Thank you. Any board discussion? Any public comment? May I have a roll call, please? Yes, Mr. Deeds? Yes. Mr. Anakin? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Hamm? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Vice President Cordero? Yes. And President Hunter? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 3 is to accept a letter of resignation from John McHale, full time district maintenance with Galloway Township Public Schools effective December 15th. Resolution 4 is to approve Julia Monterre as a GCMS school nurse for the 2016-17 school year effective January 1 through June 30, 2017. The salary, step, degree, and account are listed. This is a replacement position. Resolution 5 is to approve Dana Keister as a second grade teacher at Smithville Elementary School for the 2016-17 school year effective January 1 through June 30, 2017. The step, salary, and degree are listed as is the account. It should note that this is funded through Title I. Resolution 6 is to approve the following substitute teachers for the 2016-17 school year effective December 5th through June 30th, pending successful completion of the criminal history review. The various rates and accounts are listed as is the name of each individual. Resolution 7 is to approve the following substitute food service worker for the 2016-17 school year. This is effective December 22nd through June 30th. The hourly rate and account are listed as is the name of the individual. Under supplemental positions, a resolution to approve the Roland Rogers Elementary School staff for the academic support program effective December 5th through March 3rd. The hourly rate for teachers and assistants are listed as is the account and the names of uh, staff members participating, Title I funding. Resolution 2 is to approve Chelsea Cantor to, <clears throat> excuse me, to provide supplemental instruction for students' IEP. The hourly rate, dates, and account are listed, IDEA. Resolution 3 is to approve Janet Maganelli to provide supplemental instruction for the students' IEP. Again, the rate, the dates, and the account are listed, also IDEA. Resolution 4 is to approve the following staff members to attend Fall Staff Development Day. The rate per the agreement not to exceed 1.5 hours. This was funded through Title 2A and the individuals are listed. And finally, resolution to approve child care staff effective December 13th through June 30. The account number is listed. A reminder that child care is an enterprise account. Uh, the uh, details and an individual are listed. And President Hubbard, I do realize that we started the number in my apologies. I figured that out. Can I have a motion to, to approve items three through seven exclusive under personnel and items one through five under supplemental positions? Thank you. Any board discussion? Any public comment? Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Anakin? Yes. Mr. Norman? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mr. Deeks? Yes. Mr. Brent? Yes. Mr. Hughes? Yes. Vice President Cordero? Yes. And President Humphrey? Yes. Thank you. Policy, please. May I introduce the staff members? Oh, I apologize. No problem. Uh, we do have two new staff members with us this evening. I'll start with Ms. Moore, who uh, oversees the nurses. I'd like to introduce Julia Moore to you. She will be the nurse at the middle school here starting July or January 2nd. <laughs> and Dr. Hathaway, our new Smithville teacher. Good evening. It's my pleasure to introduce you, Dana Keister, as the newest member of the Smithville family. She comes to us from Reeds Road, so we did steal one of the finest to come to Smithville. So, Dana will be with our second graders starting tomorrow on a temporary basis and then her full time position in January. Thank you. 
Uh, our first item is actually a new policy arbitrage, and it is first reading. Items two through nine, and all of those policies are second reading. Thank you. Can I have a motion to approve items one through nine, including some other policies?
Um, the audience needed a little etiquette, but other than that, the kids were great. And it was standing room only, so I thank Mr. McGloin for saving me a seat up front, so I didn't have to stand in the hallway. That's good. Thank you. Richard? I just want to say thank you, Bob, and for everybody who could not make it tonight, but thank you also for the time they spent on the Board of Education helping our staff and our children make the district what they are. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say except Merry, Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year all. See you all, or most of you, next year. Thank you. Thank you. Michael? Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry to get to be there last week when you were recognized that I was out of town. But, uh, um, but you've done your community proud. Thank you. Uh, no words. You're not feeling about you. Thank you. Uh, all good. All good to you. <laughs> I love you. He has done so much for the state. He has served on New Jersey school boards, the board of directors. He served on the state boards. Uh, just phenomenal over the past 20 years, and a lot of people don't even know that about Bob. He's actually volunteered to build, um, what's the, the part, the imagination station. station, and actually slept overnight so nobody stole the stuff while it was um, there being built. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal person. And I love you very, very much. You know that. And thank you, John, for donation to the music program. That was really, really nice, and I'm sure it'll be well received at the school. Um, and echoing Tom's comments about music in, in the schools and, and keeping those ancillary programs it is very important. Um, and great job to Smithville. That is amazing the amount of money that you guys earned. Uh, Ridgewood as well for their accomplishments. So thank you. Bob. Uh let me start with John. John, thank you for the electric piano, first of all. We do appreciate your, the donation. Um, Bob was the one that got me involved with the uh, Board of Education some 19, 20 years ago. Um, and that trailer you talk about, it was him and I sleeping in that, that night. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you, Bob. The, the, the children of Galloway and the taxpayers of Galloway very much appreciate their efforts. Uh, something else that Bob does, nobody knows about Bob, he's one of 72 in the entire state, 72 people that a, are certified master board leader. So of all the board members in the, in the entire state of New Jersey, there's only 72 thousand board members, uh, considering there's 560 some school districts, I believe, that seven or nine people per board, I don't know. Forget the math, but Bob is one of the unique people that has earned that distinction uh, in the state, and I do appreciate that for everything you've done for us. Uh, with that being said, Bill, would you like to say anything for Bob? We put up with that. You're the first person I ever saw with a two sided hat, too, the Giants. <laughs> We had great times, and uh, uh, also it was very great to be serving on this board. That all you did all the time, you uh, did contribute, as well as being a master board member and leader uh, of the community, I'm sure. Uh, and I thank you very much. Okay, at this time, is there anything else to come before this Board of Education? You shall be heard. Seeing nothing, Dr. G. Quinton, we have a closed session? No. No? No. Okay, with that. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Thank you. All those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you and Merry Christmas.